Okay, I did the bracing, measured it up, glued and screwed two places for that extra, extra bracing. And I uh, figured, well, I have nothing to do since the other bracing cannot be found. Anyway, I'm still lazy to go get some more dowel stuff from Home Depot. So in the meantime, I glued these together with some of that PVC, PVC glue. It's getting dry. I'm going to wait until tomorrow and then I'm going to trim the little excess off. I'll make a nice and smooth surface. It doesn't match up very well. This tube that I had, it was left over and these I got from another kid. I, don't worry, I ordered some more of these flared ends. So yeah, that hole is a little tight, I don't know what happened. Cut it the same way. Ah, it goes in easier, one way or another. The other one is going to go right in the middle through there. And attach to here. And back there. As soon as I get the other one, I'll get that shit done. Make sure that shit doesn't touch the bottom. Doesn't touch the bottom right there or whatnot. I think that's all I'm doing for now. That's why I didn't want to go get more dowels because I'm almost done. Got all this silicone up in there. And then I put the top plate and I put silicone all up on the inside. Should be all good. Tomorrow I'll go get some more materials. I'm gonna need some screws and shit. So. And the dowel. I'm just gonna get a big old piece of fuck. So yeah, let's uh, continue. Alright y'all, so since I don't have a chop saw, I'm gonna show you how I make my cuts on the dowels. Same method I use on the ports. Over there, just lay this bitch upside down. Raise the blade up to the desired height. And you gotta keep the guard out of the way, cause how many hands do you fucking have? You know what I'm saying? You gotta be like this over here, holding in. You gotta hold that. Now you, you, you wanna be like this. And of course you wanna exercise extreme caution when you do this. And you just pull it through. Use one of these. Get up to the power. Is my mark okay? I already have my shit marked up. I'm gonna go like this because I feel a little safer that way. So let's get the show on the road. Too much talking. Careful though, you gotta have all your lines in line. It's complicated. See what happens. See what happens when you have the right tools. You gotta take fucking risks and shit. Risk chopping fingers off, limbs and shit. I don't know how to do this. There we go. All right, this is uh, kind of what this should look like. Small gap over here. Whatever, I can figure out. How big. Yeah, it's a nice little snug fit. Super braced. 212s. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna do the dowels. This is gonna be my shit. Your center's marked up. I like to use two screws for that extra. I don't know why. Good old drill. Put a couple holes. Not too far apart. I ended up getting a piece of a like 24 inch piece of dough. Hanging out with the neighbor last night. He's like, oh man, I got some of that shit laying around. Just it up. A couple holes, pre drilled. And then I take 
one of them. I can drill a hole wherever the fuck I feel like it. Get a little hole straightish in. I guess I'm gonna have to attach this 